Hi, I'm Hope. Came for APF, and welcome to HamRadio.World. So this is video number four of our Dr. Tortugas um, N4T de expedition um, from the 14th through 17th of this month. Um, and you probably already know this if you've watched our other videos, but um, basically um, a de expedition is where, in our case, we're going to a place that has a pretty rare grid to get on the air, so we're gonna activate it and a lot of people will wanna talk to us. So this is video number four, I think it is, um, of our organization and how we're packing things. So this one, um, we're using another Pelican case. Um, this one's for our batteries. We're using um, a whole bunch of BioNO power ones. Um, and we're good friends with BioNO Power. Um, actually, we met them when Daddy and I were in California um, for because I was operating the Last Man Standing station there. Um, and so when we were there, we were driving and we saw something that said batteries and solar panels or something like that. Um, so we called them and we got to interview them for the YouTube channel. Um, that's like 2016, December. Um, but anyway, so now we're good friends with them. And so we have here um, a 30 watt, or no, a 30 amp hour. It's, um, it's 360 watt hours. Um, we have three of them, there's two here. Um, we also have two of the nine amp hours. The other one is in one of our go boxes that we made, um, but we'll show that one probably too. Um, and we'll have all these things set up um, probably um, next week or something. Um, we'll probably make a video with everything set up to show how it um, would look. Uh, oh, this is also the wires for them. We're gonna probably be using them for um, powering the radio um, we're gonna have a fan, um, for like in the tent if it gets hot at night. And even for the it, operating position too. Yeah, and for operating position. Um, even though it is December and it'll be in December, um, it is the tropics, so it does get very hot and humid. So, well, we also are bringing three of these ones because if there's like not enough sunlight, um, sure, there is a lot of sunlight when you think of Florida, but when you get to know it, there's a lot of rain, especially in that area. We don't know if it will, but if it gets too cloudy and we can't recharge them, we want to be able to use these. So, is that it? That's pretty much it. Um, the 9 amp hour battery, this one, uh, will be used for running our logging computer. And we'll make a video specifically that shows the logging computer, and uh, we'll use the 30 watt uh, power film solar foldable solar collector to power that and it's a cool little IBM laptop that runs off of 5 volts and we have a 4 amp 5 volt uh, USB cigarette lighter plug that is powering our computer so the computer will be run entirely off of solar and battery power we won't have any kind of generators down there those are against the law down there so it will be all solar and battery uh, I think I also forgot to mention, we like these because um, the lithium ion phosphate is much, much lighter than the lead acid and they're also a lot smaller, so. And you can charge these things like 2,500 times, mm -hmm. where the lead acid you can charge like 400 times. Mm -hmm. So that's a big difference. Um, these 30 amp hour batteries we found give us about the same runtime that we got with a 79 amp hour lead acid battery, the AGM battery, and that weighed 70 pounds. These weigh about seven, I think. And uh, we don't have to use any kind of battery booster. Mm -hmm. And remember what happened when we put that battery booster on? What happened with the RFI? Well, I know that the RFI went really high, and I also know that when we transmitted to call CQ, then it would all drop and it would all shut down. And yeah. But these, they don't do that. Yeah, these, they don't. These We're using AC radios that definitely need a higher voltage than some of the ICOMs and Elecraft radios.
so we have to make sure we have enough voltage from our batteries. So anyway, that's how we're carrying these. That's a Pelican 1500 case that I used to use for a mat box for work. And now we've got batteries in it. It's waterproof. And I just remembered another thing we should probably bring is spare fuses. We have a bunch of those in the HF Go box, but yes, we should bring spare fuses. Okay, 73. 73.